Well, hello. The purpose for this tutorial is to show you how to use live loops, record your own live loops in iOS GarageBand. And the reason I'm doing this tutorial is because I had a great deal of frustration trying to get it to work for me um, after looking at several uh, other YouTube videos out there on this topic. I still was having difficulties with uh, recording my own live loops and getting the uh, GarageBand to act correctly or perform correctly. So uh, I figured out what the problem was. So I want to go ahead and show it to others who may be having the same problems that I was. So, um, you know, you go into GarageBand, you get your menu screen here, first of all. And right here, you see you got your choice of tracks or live loops. We're going to go ahead and click on live loops. And then what you have to do, of course, is come over here to this blank um, option here where um, it will pull up this screen it's uh, where you can drag in your loops that you're going to be using and I'll be dragging in one here to uh, show you how to uh, record live loops okay so to get started basically let's just go ahead and uh, choose a, um, a drum beat here to get to um, show you this demonstration. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll go ahead and what you're gonna do is hold down the sample, the sample loop and just drag it over here. And we'll get, go out of that, go out of that. And um, so we can go down here at these arrows on the bottom of your screen. And that plays the loop. Let me just show you that again. Um, so if you press the stop button one time, you're gonna get a flashing green light and then press the, the button to the left of the green flashing light and it stops the loop completely. Um, so I think this is, uh, I forgot to take note of the, uh, Let's see if that was a uh, four bar. Yeah, that was a four bar loop there. So, you know what? Let's go, instead of that, we want to use an eight bar loop. So what we're gonna do is come down here, and this is your edit button. Um, and I'm gonna come up here, and uh, Delete it, and uh, then we're gonna come over here and grab us a, um, see if we can find, yeah, there's one, but it's a bongo, let's see. That's pretty cool. That's the heavy toms break, we'll just go ahead and drag that over. Let's listen to that again. Okay, so there you go. There's your uh, what we're going to be basing this uh, our live loop off of. Um, <clears throat> so um, we want to let's say we want to do a garage band piano uh, instead of recording it in the tracks view um, that we normally record in. We want to do us a live loop. So what we want to do is just uh, press our plus button, select instruments, and here's our keyboard. We want to go in and we're just going to choose uh, what we have defaulted here, the classical grand. Um, and we want to record um, some piano to that drum beat, that drum sample that I brought in. And here is the biggest thing right here that um, the purpose for this tutorial where I was missing before and um, <clears throat> I figured this out and now everything works correctly. In order to record and for the garage band to behave correctly, 
uh, record live loops. You can't record when this screen, um, when, when your screen is in this mode showing the keyboard. What you have to do is go back, you drop your keyboard by pressing the, the grid right here. And you see all your loops. The keyboard's gone now. So what you're gonna, what your first step one after you get back into this view, step one is to get this beat playing right here. Step two, press the stop button once. What you see here is a green uh, flashing light. The, the play button is green and flashing. And what that means is in record cue. Next thing you're going to do to play this piano is come in here and uh, press. And you'll get that record option right here. You're going to press record, which brings your keyboard back up. So now you just uh, mash your record button and it's going to count off and you can start playing to that beat. So uh, what I did, I just recorded four bars with that piano, and it went it looped back around and played it a couple more times. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to go back to this uh, the loop grid mode, and um, you can play the loops in one of two ways. You can press the play button. Or you can come down here at the very bottom with these up arrows, there's a row of them for each column. You can press the corresponding one for this row. And so we could just uh, go back and do the same thing again. I'll run you through it again real quick. We want to do a, <clears throat> excuse me, a live instrument. Click the plus and then instruments. And uh, we'll go back into keyboards again. Let's pick uh, a synth bass. Uh, retro bass is pretty cool. So now we've got our uh, retro bass. And uh, <clears throat> so class... The first thing you need to, uh, a pop quiz here in this video, in order to record correctly, record this live loop, you do what? You go up here to your, you get rid of the screen by going up here to your grid view and showing the, all the, the loops and not the uh, piano or not the keyboard. Um, step two, you get your uh, loops playing or you just press play for a second. You press stop. You get the flashing green light. You press in the instrument you want to record. You hit record. Your keyboard comes back. You press uh, record. You get a count off and you can start doing that loop. So there you go. I hope that clears up the uh, live loops recording process for you in case you, like me, were having difficulties making it work correctly. Um, if it does, just let me know in the comments below. Take care.